So just so the bottom to the top don't suddenly get distracting, it's important to remember the story about the horse and the sigh. You have the United States Army psychological operations and their horse from a chess game, the body. They own the hormones, they own. Safety and they give security. They stare, they look and they scare with their brutality, their power and their care for strength and prestigious honor. And they're surrounded by the American sigh, the European sigh, the world sigh. A symbol that looks like this with a line and almost like a candlestick. And they use these images and they use these words I'm speaking now to keep the mind and the body away from brain. Always working and always trying to get better at being a mind and body. And disregarding the brain as an idea, a thought, the mind has about the body. And the horse doesn't have emotions. The horse fearlessly goes and defeats enemies far and near. The Psy warrior promotes confusion, misdirection, and above all else, mental health. Working together in a robotic, systematic, and infinite process. People sign up, get their hormones fixed in the military. People go to the social worker in Seattle, Washington. The people go to the hospital in Alabama. And they get their medicine. They go to their behavioral hospital. And then they spend the rest of their lives in anguish and fear sweating in small rooms and staring at light for 24 hours, drinking water through a covering on the face in an interrogation. And they accomplish these goals and they accomplish these victories. because they're in charge. They keep people safe, they say, and they keep people well, they tell everybody. And the shakiness and the confusion from a person like me proves their point, explains their necessary involvement in the world. To go beat the Chinese, to get rid of them commie bastards and those communists. And to make a fool out of someone who wants to be a chap in the United States military on a Monday during Memorial Day. Quarantined and poor and suffering. Hearing all of the nice, happy-go-lucky people outside taking a break from their homework.
not as fortunate to be able to serve anymore having had cancer called Chordoma in my brain, causing so many problems and so much identifiable information and data, the red button, no, takes less effort than verbally saying denied. The dead will always look down in these conditions. The dead will never rest easy. The living will be with the dead. The living will have to be with the ghosts who never get their peace and respect. They've earned now.